we are going to discuss about the topic is electric field so electric field is a, one of the important questions they are asking either two mark or three mark question if they are whether is asking two mark question define electric field if they are asking three mark question define electric field and explain the point charge so abdinna question raise pannuvanga so what is mean by electric field so pathina so coulomb's law is explain the interaction between the two point charges but the interaction itself how to does form the occur so consider the one of the charges q is placed in a space then another one of the test charge q not is brought another charge q it experience the attractive force or repulsive force so due to the concept is explain about the action at a distance but the second charge q2 is existence of first charge at a distance away from it so due to the concept is explain the scientist is michael faraday he explained the concept is electric what is mean by electric field how to they formed so according to the michael faraday explain it every charge in the universe is create a electric field because we are considered the one of the charge is q then another charge is considered at a distance r it experience the force now we are considered the one of the charge q then another one of the test charge q not is placed at the point p at a distance r it experience the force is called as the electric field is based on the coulomb's law so effector so we are already discussed coulomb's law effector is equal to k but we are using q1 q2 by r squared and r cap use panirpom but here we are using the test charge one is q not then another one of the source charge q so that's why we are using this equation effector is equal to k q q not by r squared and r cap here where k is represents the proportionality constant is the equation is k is equal to 1 by 4 by epsilon naught so substitute this equation so effector is equal to 1 by 4 by epsilon naught q q naught by r squared and r cap so now what is mean by electric field so one of the two more questions the definition is the electric field at a point p at a distance r from the point charge q is the force experienced by the unit charge is e vector is equal to f vector by q not sometimes they are asking one mark question what is the expression is represents to the electric field so the equation is e vector is equal to f vector by q not we are already find f vector equation so substitute this equation so f vector is equal to k q q not by r squared already this equation having q not so here using q not into r cap so if e vector is equal to k q q not by r squared so uh, division la irukiratha nam enna pannrom mele kondu pona 1 by q not nagum so inda or q not inda or q not enna aidum cancel aidum so remaining equation e vector is equal to k q by r squared and r cap so k is the proportionality constant using this substitute this equation so 1 by 4 by epsilon naught q by r squared and r cap sometimes they are asking one more question define electric, uh, electric field due to the point charges expressed is e vector is equal to 1 by 4 by epsilon naught q by r squared and r cap this is the important equation then e vector is a vector quantity because it have both magnitude and direction that's why electric field is a vector quantity so another one of the uh, one more question the si unit of electric field is what so the si unit is newton coulomb inverse or newton by coulomb so uh, how to form this uh, unit in pathina electric field e vector is equal to already we write the equation f vector by q not f vector is the force so force of the unit newton and q is charge the si unit of charge is coulomb so n by c r inga irukra power la pathina 1 irukku mele kondu pona minus 1 agum so newton by coulomb r newton coulomb inverse 
So, the SI unit of electric field is Newton Coulomb inverse or Newton by Coulomb. So, continue this uh, concept is another one is important aspects of electric field. So, we are already discussed what is mean by Coulomb's law and its aspects in the the same kind of questions is also. So, what is meant by electric field we are already discussed. Next, we move on to the important aspects of electric field. There are seven aspects is there. So, the first one is charge Q. If the charge Q is positive, the electric field is act in the outward direction. If the charge Q is positive, the electric field act in the outward direction. In another case, if the charge Q is negative charge, we are considered as a negative charge, the electric field is act towards the direction. So, this is the first aspects of electric field. The next point is, the next point is, we are already definition of electric field. So, the electric field uh, at a point at a distance R from uh, test charge is Q0 is equal to, is represents the equation E vector is equal to F vector by Q0. So, we want F vector which is equal to E vector into Q0. So, this is the second aspects. Then next one third aspects. So, third aspects when I explain panadana, electric field is independent of the test charge and it depends on the source charge Q. So, this is the third aspects. Then fourth aspects when I explain panadana. So, we are already told electric field is a vector quantity. So, because it has unique direction and constant magnitude. Uh, this is the concept of explain the distance increase agambode, the value konjo konjo ma enna na, decrease agade. Okay, wa. when the magnitude is increases, the distance is decreases. So this concept la, use in the fourth points le, we are using the three points consider na, na, positive charge consider Q undra, positive charge consider na, the Q undra, positive charge base pannhi, three points na, consider pannhi. Na, na, one is P indra points another one is Q indra points then another one is R indra points in the moon points are considered pandra. In the moon points may patina Q and the charge base pani or a particular distance la irke. So if the positive charge in the in the moon points may patina electric field alam FD act on outward direction act on. So compared to these three points P, Q, R, P is very closer to the charge compared to the Q and R. So this is the fourth aspect. Then fifth aspect pathina uh, electric field base panina pathina the test charge is always sufficiently small other so that's why test charge na move panna thevalla so this is the fifth aspect then sixth aspect enna use pandrona nama electric field only edhukku mattum da nama use pandrona two point charges ku mattum da enna pandrom use pandrom in other case some additional uh, finite charges or illa vera da adhigama use panna we are using only edhukku mattum da nama use pandrona integration method use panni enna pannala electric field da find out pannala then seventh aspect enna explain pannadana uh, there are two kinds of electric field irukku one pathina uniform electric field then another one is non uniform electric field adena uniform electric field na uniform electric field have same direction and constant magnitude adive non uniform electric field pathina different direction and different magnitude both may eppadi irukum direction sari uh, magnitude may eppadi irukum pathina different direction irukum so in the seven points na eda explain pannadana important aspects of electric field okay so uh, Present 12 standard students ke na, uh, we are taking the online class for the purpose only for you. So using this opportunity and uh, be safe. So thank you so much.